Hello geeks and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. This is Sai Prakash and in this video we are going to solve a day 10 problem of a 30 day Geeks for Geeks coding challenge. Right, so let's uh, see the problem. So the problem is called as repeated string match and uh, the problem expects us to return minimum number of times a string A has to be repeated such that string B becomes substring of the string A. Right, so if that's not the case we have to return negative 1. Right. So let me say uh, by st let me start this video by saying what a substring is. So a substring is nothing but it's basically a string which is a uh, which is a part of another string. Let, ex for example, if uh, we take A B C right. So A B C is present in string A and also in string B. So A B C can be called as a substring of both A and B. Right. So you get the point. Right. So we have to know uh, try and repeat this string A as many times as possible. But we have to return minimum number one and such that uh, string b right so string b becomes a, a substring of string a right so and uh, let's begin solving this problem and uh, let me uh, just give a brief of the algorithm that we are going to implement here so the premise for solving this problem is that uh, for a string uh, to be a substring of uh, uh, another string uh, so in our case for a string b uh, to be a substring of uh, string a so the uh, the minimum condition is that the length of a is uh, at least as big as the string b right so uh, there is no way that uh, b is going to be substring of b if the length of b is less than uh, length of a is less than b right so the uh, premise for solving this problem is uh, length of a has to be at least equal or greater than length of b right so only in that uh, case there is a chance of a uh, of a uh, able to incorporate b as its substring right so we have to uh, keep that in mind and we have to repeat the uh, string a until uh, we uh, we have checked that condition and even after that there, uh, there is no possibility that when uh, lengths are matching uh, the b will be a substring right sometimes the uh, substring b is offsetted to a certain position in uh, a Right, so in that case, we have to also check uh, for uh, one more extra repetition as well. Right, so if both the if those cases are also failing, then we are they, we can say that there is no chance of uh, B being a substring of A. So now that we understood the basics, let me uh, implement that in the code. Right, so we are going to start by initializing our answer. So our answer uh, would be initialized with one because one is a minimum string that can uh, exist here. Right. So and that uh, we are going to return our base condition as uh, negative one, and uh, let's uh, implement this condition that we just talked. So while length of a is less than length of b, and meanwhile I will simply change this. Yes. So while length of a is less than less than length of b, so as we have previously mentioned, we are so we are going to. Uh, increment our answer with one and uh, let's also take a copy of our uh, string a so cp is a copy of uh, string a and our answer is whenever we are incrementing our answer we also increment our uh, string a so a plus equals cp so right so in every iteration where uh, length of a is less than length of b so we are going to uh, repeat a until and unless the length are uh, at least equal or greater right so once we are out of this loop so we can check for our conditions right so the condition is if b in a right so if b is in a then we have our answer right and as i have previously mentioned there is also a case where uh, uh, b is offsetted to some location uh, in a such that uh, it will be not incorporated in uh, exact length we have to also check for one more length as well right so if b in a plus cp we are going to return answer plus one because so we are taking one extra reputation right so basically this is how we can solve the problem let me just run the cases to check whether we are missing any base cases or not so the base case is uh, done and yeah we are also able to solve uh, hidden cases as well so this is how you have to solve this problem and uh, yeah th there is no uh, saying that this is the best approach you can also come up with a uh, better approach than this 
but uh, main premise of this problem is uh, this so you have to check that the lengths are exactly matching or not exactly matching in the sense their length has to be at least equal or greater right so only in that case there is a possibility that uh, b can uh, be a substring of a and also there is a odd cases where uh, b is subsetted or sorry it is offsetted uh, to uh, so certain parts of a so that uh, we also have to take one extra reputation to check whether it is uh, uh, offsetted towards uh, extreme right or extreme left right so in that case we are going to use an extra reputation and in all the other cases we are going to return negative one right and uh, so yeah this is how we have to solve this problem and i hope uh, this video is uh, helpful and uh, if you find this video helpful give a like and subscribe to geeks for geeks and we'll come up with much more tutorials like this and thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day